Hello and welcome to Minky Collects Pokey where I talk about anything and everything Pokemon TCG. In this video, we are going to talk about Arceus V and Arceus Vista. Yes, it is going to be in a lot of decks moving forward simply because of how flexible it is. Let's first talk about Arceus V. Trinity Charge allows you to attach 3 basic energy cards from your deck to your bench Pokemon. So if you go second and it's your first turn, you can attach a double turbo energy and then charge 3 basic energies to one of your V Pokemon. How sick is that? And if you don't have a double turbo energy, don't worry, you just need to attach one basic energy card. Because during your next turn, you can evolve your Arceus V to a V star. Trinity Nova allows you to do the same thing but with one more colorless energy in the energy cost and it deals 200 damage. And if you still haven't found your double turbo energy by the time you evolve your Arceus V to a V star, you can always use an ability so amazing they name a whole set after it. Star Buff allows you to search your deck for two cards, any two cards, and put it in your hand. So if you haven't found your double turbo energy, you can use the ability to look for it, attach to your Arceus V, and then use Trinity Nova. If you have found your double turbo energy already, you can just attach, use the attack, charge your V Pokemon, and then leave the ability for later. One thing I must add on is Trinity Nova does 200 damage, which is enough to knock out most V Pokemon. With double turbo energy, your damage is reduced to 180, but you also have Choice Band, which adds 30 damage when you are attacking V Pokemon. So you get to do huge damage while charging your bench. Sounds familiar? So now that we have talked about how Arceus V and V Star work, we will discuss how it will affect existing decks. Decks before Brilliant Stars that will improve after adding Arceus V and V Star inside. We will rank them according to how much it will help, starting off with those decks that won't need Arceus V Star. Of course, this is my personal opinion and I won't cover all the decks, but I hope that this video will help you decide whether you want to add it in or not to. Or if you want to form an Arceus V Star deck and don't know who to pair it up with, you can consider these options. We start off with decks that won't need Arceus V Star inside. I won't spend a lot of time on this section because otherwise it will be a really long video. First off, we have Mew V Max. Mainly because Arceus V Star is not a Fusion Strike Pokemon and it will just mess up Genesec V's Fusion Strike System ability. There are lots of cuts in Brilliant Stars that will improve the Mew Genesec deck, but Arceus V Star is not one of them. Next up, we have Jolteon V Max. It doesn't need the energy acceleration because most of the time it only requires one energy to attack. And also, adding another Pokemon that's weak to fighting doesn't really help. We move on to both the Rapid Strike and Single Strike Urshifu decks. Both run on their respective special energies and Arceus doesn't help. Ultra Ball will be a great addition, especially if you run a Melanie in your Rapid Strike Urshifu deck. But nope, you don't need Arceus inside. Next up, we have the Eternatus VMAX deck. You cannot run non-dark energy in this deck. End of story. Okay, we now move on to the 7 decks that will benefit from having Arceus V-Star inside. At number 7, we have Ice Rider Calyrex. I did consider putting it higher in the list because having Arceus V-Star charging up an Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX on the bench is scary. The longer your opponent takes to knock out your Arceus V-Star, the more Ice Rider Calyrexes you can build up on your bench. The reason I didn't put Ice Rider Calyrex higher is because number one, with Melanie, you don't really need the energy acceleration that Arceus V-Star brings. And number two, with Arceus V-Star in the deck, you won't be able to play one of the best cards in an Ice Rider Calyrex deck, and that's Path to the Peak. This Stadium card locks up so many decks and it's a huge reason why Ice Rider Calyrex is so good. Which is why while Arceus V-Star can be a good addition to this deck, it doesn't add a lot of value especially compared to the other decks in the list. At number 6, we have Leafeon. Leafeon decks already have a new recent addition in Leafeon V-Star 
and to be honest, it's really hard to squeeze in Asus V and V-Star inside. It faces the same issue as iShredder Calyrex in that it already runs a Sobo, Drizzle and Intellion line inside the deck. I put Lithion higher up in the list compared to iShredder Calyrex because iShredder Calyrex has Melanie to accelerate energy. Whereas Lithium only has greening cells from the V, which is useful in the first turn. But after that, you don't want to just end your turn after attaching energy. So Arceus V-Star will help with that. At number 5, we have Shadow Rider Calyrex. Before Brilliant Stars, Shadow Rider Calyrexes only depended on Cressilia and Zacian V for their early game energy acceleration. But now, you can use Arceus V or V-Star in the early game or when you don't have energy cards in your hand. So you're not as stuck when you get a bad draw or when Path to the Peak is in play. The optimal gameplay will be having Arceus V-Star in the active and charging up your Calyrexes while you keep using Underworld Dolls to draw cards and attach energies. It would speed up your game so much and your Shadow Rider Calyrexes will do huge damage in a shorter period of time. The main issue is finding space for the Arceus V and V-Star as well as the double turbo energy because there are only so many decks you can take out from a Shadow Rider Calyrex deck. But if you do find a space, I think it can really work. At number 4, we have V-Union decks. Arceus V-Star is the perfect active Pokemon you want in a V-Union deck. You can use Adventurous Discovery, Ultra Balls and Galarian Articuno V get your V Union parts discarded in turn 1 or 2 and then use Arceus V-Star to attack and charge your V Union Pokemon up. Of course, Ultra Ball is the one that makes V Union decks more playable now because yes, you can use Ultra Ball to search for V Union parts as well. But Arceus V-Star is a very close second when it comes to how much it can improve V Union decks. At number 3, we have Zacian Zamazenta. Arceus is the ADP that this deck missed. For those who don't know, Arceus, Dialga and Palkia GX, also known as ADP or the Tree Gods, was one of the strongest decks before it got rotated out. Its ability allowed you to collect one more prize card whenever you knocked out an opponent's Pokemon. While we don't have that in Arceus, we do get a similar attack. ADP's Ultimate Ray is similar to Arceus V-Star's Trinity Nova because they both do damage and accelerate energy. So you want Arceus V-Star to be in the active and hitting your opponents while you charge Zacian and or Zamazenta V up. Basically the same way you will play an ADP deck. This reduces the number of times when you don't have enough energy cards on your Pokemon and all you can do is just Intrepid Sword and end your turn. And Zacian Zamazenta does have the space to accommodate Arceus V and V-Star. That's because, well, they had to remove ADP. Now it's just a matter of putting Arceus V and V-Star back in, in place of ADP. Which is why I placed this deck at number 3. At number 2, we have Duraludon VMAX. One main weakness Duraludon VMAX decks had was how slow it was in building up. You can only attach one per turn and your main energy acceleration was Zacian V's um, Intrepid Sword and then using Energy Switch to switch it to the Duraludon VMAX. You don't always pull it off and many times you end up with a large hand and with like just one or two energies on your Duraludon. Arceus V-Star solves that problem completely. You can now put Arceus V-Star in your active, Duraludon on your bench and then attack your opponent while charging up your Duraludon VMAX. And if a wall against special energy is not enough, you can always add in Zamazenta V to protect yourself against VMAX decks that play only basic energy, just like the next deck on our list. At number 1, we have Rayquaza VMAX. This deck is going to get so much better with Arceus Vista. Before Arceus, its main energy acceleration was Fluffy, which allows you to attach Lightning Energy from your discard pile to your bench Pokemon. You also had Bolton V, which allowed you to search your deck for two Lightning Energies and attach to your bench Pokemon. But you see, all these only accelerated Lightning Energy and Rayquaza needs Fire Energy to attack. 
so your only options were Energy Surge or Rose. But now with Arceus V-Star, you can now accelerate both the Fire and Lightning Energy to your Rayquaza V-Max and damage your opponent at the same time, which was something Bolton V couldn't do. Now most decks that play Crushing Hammer will know that when playing against a Rayquaza V-Max, you have to discard the Fire Energy, which is why moving forward, I would still keep the Rose. I can't stress how much Arceus V-Star improves Rayquaza V-Max decks. I do feel that Arceus V-Star Rayquaza V-Max is going to be one of the best decks in the format. And that is why Rayquaza V-Max is number one on the list of decks that will be improved by adding Arceus V-Star inside. Alright, that's it for the video. If you are still watching this, thank you so much for coming to the end. Of course, this is my personal opinion. Do let me know in the comments what you feel about my list. And my opinion will likely change as Brilliant Stars is released and I try out different decks with Arceus V-Star. So if you don't want to miss those gameplay videos and deck lists, remember to subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you enjoyed it, uh, it will really help YouTube to push it to other people that might enjoy it as well. Thank you once again, I'll see you in the next video.